guys welcome back to my channel my name is Christina if you don't already know I'm filming on my iPhone because I don't know how I'm gonna show you guys how I use my camera without my camera being plugged up and then also my iPad is dead so I'm gonna use my phone hopefully the quality doesn't suck and I'm just gonna show you guys my lighting setup for filming my videos and taking pictures before I do anything I always Turn the light off in my room. The room lighting does nothing for me, especially since I have my two soft boxes. So let's take a look at that. All right, so as you can see, I have two soft boxes. Those soft boxes are my main sources of light for when I am filming a video. And I also turn them on when I do my makeup because they are very bright, they are very strong, and they're very clear. So I don't actually use these two lights to take photos of myself or my eyes because they are pretty harsh and they don't show true to color when I'm actually taking pictures. Video is just fine, but pictures, it just winds up looking super crazy. So let me just talk about this lighting right here real quick. The reason why I have a white vanity desk is because the lights will bounce off of the white and upwards so it bounces up from off of the desk and obviously with it bouncing up when i'm sitting in my chair it bounces onto my face and that helps with balancing out the lighting on my images same thing for this really cool silver cutting board that i use it does the same exact thing i actually hold that sometimes when i'm taking pictures to bounce more light closer to my face but I do keep it underneath me at that level whenever I'm filming my videos. That's pretty much it on that. As far as the placement goes, I chose to have them on either side of the desk facing me and having my camera, which is right there, in the center. The reason why I have it in the center is because I'm in the center and it's just the left light bouncing from the table and directly on my face and underneath me from the um, silver thing right there that everything is super balanced and looks nice. I have seen people do it to where they have two additional lights lower in front of them, but that's probably just gonna be too much for me and my eyes. So let's talk about this camera. I like to have my cameras right in the center because I wanna be centered on camera and I also want it to match with, let me go this way, match with my, my background there as you can see. But I like being in the center, the center of my desk, so I can reach everything in the center of my camera. So as far as the setup on my camera goes, it's a Nikon D3500. And right there is a HDMI micro cord connected to an actual HDMI cord. And I'm going to go around real quick for you guys so you can see. So here's what it looks like from behind my camera. I have the micro HDMI cord connected to a regular HDMI cord, which is connected to my monitor. It basically is a flat screen TV. You can get it as big or as large as you want it to be so you can see. And this just goes right into the back of the, the I was gonna say computer, right into the back of the flat screen. You can plug it in here or you can plug it in here, whatever works best for you. And then you just change the input on the TV to coordinate with the cord so you can see on your camera. Now you can see here that I'm right here, but on my camera, the screen is black. The reason why that is, is because I pulled this LV right here. Now you can see the camera settings instead of me. And when I flip it again, it allows me to see myself, you know, through the lens. But the, the screen is usually going to be black because it's transmitting what would normally be here onto the TV. That's how that works. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm not super technical. Like, I can figure stuff out, but I'm no genius and I don't know all the terms and all that other stuff. So if you're filming on your iPad or your iPhone, plug it up to the computer and open QuickTime. Let me go around so I can show you guys. You want to plug your iPad up to your computer. And let me get this out of the way. Get out of the way. Then you'll want to go and open QuickTime Player, okay? And QuickTime Player, if you go to File, New Movie Recording, it'll open up the screen and you'll see from your, um, what is that called? Your, your computer's camera. <laughs> you'll want to go down here, click this little tab and switch to your iPad. And what that'll do, hi. 
So what that'll do is it'll reflect what you're filming on your iPad onto your computer. So you can use your computer as a monitor. Yes, as a monitor. And you can use the back camera or the front camera. Now, if you want to use a regular monitor for this, you'll do the same exact thing. And then you'll just take that HDMI cord that I have right there and plug it into your computer. So it'll be iPad, computer, TV screen. <laughs> Which is a lot in my opinion. I was doing that for a second, but if it's if you really feel like you'd see better using a TV or a monitor, that's the way to do it with an iPhone and with an iPad. So yeah, okay, so real quick, let's talk about my lighting for taking my eye pictures. This is one of I've never been able to say highly requested before. Like not actually but this is actually something that is highly requested. So I have to turn off, so I have to turn off these lights and I have a really nice lamp. This lamp did not cost me more than $10 at Walmart. Inside the lamp, because a lot of people ask me this too, is an eco-friendly light bulb. You do not have to get the same exact size that I got. This is, what is this? I can barely see, I'm so blind, but it's an eco-friendly light bulb. When I picked it, I was not looking for something specific. I just was like, give me an eco-friendly bulb because it's gonna be warm, yada, yada, whoop de -whoop, right? So boom, there it is, basic light. Switch it on, oh wait, it's not plugged in. So with both of my lights being turned off, this is the only source of light that I have. As you can see, this light bulb is much warmer than my soft boxes are. The light bulbs inside my soft boxes are actually cool toned and this one is warm because it's like a household light bulb, right? So what I have to do is take my curtain here. This is a blackout curtain. You can get these from Walmart too, super duper affordable. And it turns the whole room nice and dark and warm. How does this work? This is how it works. I take my lamp, I take my reflective surface, I move this out of the way, I put my mirror right there, and I'll adjust the lighting. So sometimes I'll bring it lower so the, the light isn't as bright up in my face. Sometimes I'll bring it up, but most of the time I have the light facing the reflective surface so I can control how much lighting I'm getting. What this does is it allows my face to have light underneath my chin, underneath my eyes, underneath my nose. So all of the shadows that would normally be casted downward are now going upward and they no longer exist in my image, which is awesome if you're taking pictures of your eye and awesome if you're taking selfies like this. I do not suggest using LED lights only because they're usually cool toned. This is my LED lamp. Um, I play with this a lot. It's not my favorite for taking pictures, but I definitely prefer these kind of lights. So with that being said, my mirror, I use my mirror to see my cell phone screen. Okay, let me explain this. I'm taking the photo of my eye with my back camera. That's this camera right here. Hello. I'm taking the photo, so that means I'm flipping my phone around. Obviously, you can see what's going on on your screen. With having a handheld mirror or a standalone mirror, you'll be able to look into the mirror and make sure that everything is focused, everything is adjusted, the lighting looks right, and boom! You can take a selfie or you can take photos of your eye. Personally, I do prefer using the Instagram camera for taking pictures of my eye. I don't know why, it just looks better. But you can also use the... Um, iPhone camera app to do it that allows you to adjust the exposure and everything else But I like the Instagram one. So you guys that is my lighting camera Setup situation. I hope that you guys learned something from this. It really is this simple I mean other people have all kinds of cool things going on and you really don't have to have very much I mean, well, this doesn't feel like much to me, but it could feel like much to you. You can do this the same, imitate the same setup with some desk lamps. Get yourself some nice big desk lamps, set them on either side of your vanity, boom, you've got good lighting. I used to do that. I used to have two of those desk lamps 
two of those. These have two of those. But yeah, it's it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. So thank you so much for requesting this. I hope this wasn't a dud because you know I'm not a tech person. But uh, yeah, thank you for requesting it and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, and I mean any questions, let me turn around. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below and I will respond and answer to you to the best of my ability, whatever the questions may be, or you can hit me up on Twitter or Instagram, whatever makes you the most comfortable. I will see you guys next time. Peace.